Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners, how to clear out old unpaid bills. Okay, so here's a typical situation. Uh, you have, uh, usually what I see is somebody comes into a QuickBooks file that maybe a, a bookkeeper or somebody else has been handling and they come in and they say, you know what, I've got all these old unpaid bills. Okay, so if we go up to vendors and we say pay bills, uh, they've got all these old bills outstanding, but they've already been paid. Okay, so they have to clear these bills out of the unpaid bills uh, uh, system here, the, the, the detail, so that they can show their financial statements correctly. Now, this is typically how this happens, all right, is we've got some bills here, uh, and let's, let's take this first one here, Bayshore Cal Oil Service. Okay, so for whatever reason, you know, this was entered as a bill correctly, and uh, it got paid somehow, uh, you know, and maybe this came in through a bank feed showing as paid, or maybe somebody wrote a check, you know, whatever the case may be. Maybe uh, somebody went to Bayshore Cal Oil and paid in cash, who knows? Okay, so what they do though is they go to, let's say, banking, write checks, and they say, let's see, I'm gonna make it after this date, that the date of the bill. And they're going to say Bayshore Cal Oil Service. Okay. Now, QuickBooks does alert you and it will say, okay, you're writing a check for an unpaid bill, uh, work in the pay bills window to correct, enter that's correctly. Now, people unfortunately don't do this and they will just say, write your check and they will say 26532. And they are going to put it to, uh, let's say, you know, automobile expense, we'll say fuel, and they're going to record this. Okay. Go ahead, save and close. So now what happens in QuickBooks is you've essentially recorded this expense twice. All right. So you recorded it once when you entered the bill. So on an accrual basis, uh, this becomes an expense of the business. And then when you enter it as a check and you put it directly to that expense, you're entering it again. Okay, so you run the real risk of duplicating expenses within QuickBooks uh, when this happens, all right? And this happens quite a bit, uh, typically with people that aren't that familiar with QuickBooks or, you know, how the enter and pay bills process works, whatever the case may be. And sometimes errors just happen. Okay, so now we want to clear this out. We've got to clear out the... Uh, this bill for Bayshore Cal Oil Service because it's already showing in the check register, okay? And I'm going to change my view up here so I can see my open window list. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your check register, okay? And so you can click right here on the home screen, say check register, and we're going to say that this, I believe this was paid, uh, the check we wrote was out of the checking. And let's see, Bayshore Cal Oil Service 26532. Here it is right here. Okay, so what you want to do is um, I'm going to uncheck this to show two because this will make it a little bit easier to go to the register, okay? Or go to the check. Okay, so I right clicked on this transaction and I'm going to go to edit check. Okay, so you have to go in and you have to find where this check was written uh, uh, to go to that source transaction. Okay, so Bayshore Cal Oil Service 26532. What you're going to do is you're going to change this account right here. So instead of the expense account, you're going to put accounts payable. Okay, and you're going to leave the amount the same. Okay. And let's see, customer job, we should not need to do that. We don't need the billable. Let me close this out. And we're not going to do a class. Okay. So let me hit save and close. Uh, okay, must include a vendor. So there's your warning right there. And so over here where it says customer job, it's going to um, seem a little funny, but we're going to go ahead and choose Bayshore Cal Oil Service. Okay, now what this does, and this is an important step, and I wanted you to see where it shows you, you know, that pop-up. Okay, you need to attach a vendor to this. Um, because you've got to associate this with this vendor, and when you do this, it'll show up as a credit in accounts payable in that pay bill screen. 
Okay, so now we can hit save and close. You've changed the transaction. Do you want to record? Yes. Okay. Now we're going to go back to pay bills and we are going to choose Bayshore Cal Oil Service. And you'll see down here that we now have a credit. And the only way that credit arose is because we changed the account to accounts payable and we changed or we added the vendor name of Bayshore Cal Oil Service uh, to that transaction. Okay. So we say set credits. It will automatically check it off to apply it to the bill. Okay. Amount to use 260. Oh, one. Okay. It's only using $5. Okay. Let's see if we, okay. We're going to hit done discount account because we are getting a discount to pay this early. Okay. So we're going to say that, uh, I don't really have an account set up here for, um, discounts. So let's, we'll just go ahead and pick one. Not, not necessarily the appropriate account, but we'll say less discounts given. Okay. And that should zero out the bill. Okay. So now we're going to say pay bills and you're going to see, I'm going to go done. And now that will be associated with that account. So now when I go to vendors, pay bills, you'll see that it's gone. Okay. So again, the, the best way I should say to clear out these old unpaid bills is go to that source transaction and then you want to change the account to accounts payable, associate the vendor name with it, and then come back to this pay bill screen, check off the bill and apply the credit, save it, and it'll clear that bill out of there. All right. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. Uh, I'd love to have you check that out and uh, discover more about QuickBooks. That website's qbuniversity.org.